Hey guys, first off, I'd really like to thank everyone for, for your support. We couldn't do this without you guys. Every subscriber, every like we get, every person who gives us feedback, whether it be positive or negative, everyone who tries or builds, we couldn't do this without you. So keep all of that support coming and we'll keep doing our best to put out awesome builds for you guys. So here we're going to demo our Phoenix Light OS Pro Plus Special Edition build. And I just made a, a list of most of the customization and additions we've made to this build. And I'll just go through it with you guys and show you some ways you can use this build that maybe you didn't know, maybe you did, but here we go anyway. We've pre-installed DirectX and Visual C++ runtimes, 7-zip file manager and classic calculator. The 7-zip file manager can be accessed through the start menus tools folder. And the classic calculator is under Windows accessories. We've also left the modern calculator installed. So you have the option of using either or. And then pre-installed and pre-configured apps include Earthen View Image Viewer, MPC BE Media Player, and the uTorrent Torrent Client, which can all be found under the Tools folder of the Start menu. We also have additional included apps being Winero Tweaker, Everything Search Engine, Old New Explorer, which can also all be found under the Tools menu, and then the Windows 7 Game Suite, which can be found in the Games folder under the Start menu, or by clicking the Games icon on the desktop. Okay, moving on to additional customizations. The first one being pre-configured services. So under the Start Menus Tools folder, you'll see shortcuts for the Windows Firewall, Print Spooler, and Update Service. They're all disabled by default in this build. Because if you're not going to use them, having them turned off is going to save on resources and help boost performance. If you don't need to use them, just leave them turned off. But if you want to use them, just click on the shortcut. If you don't want to use them, turn them off. If you want to install a printer driver and be able to print, you have to turn on the Windows Print Spooler. Or else you're not going to be able to install a driver or be able to print. If you're not using it, you can turn it off. And then to be able to use the Windows Store, install additional languages, have drivers automatically download, use the Xbox app, the Windows Update service needs to be turned on. So if it's turned off by default, none of those certain, none of those features are going to work. So just turn on the service by clicking the shortcut and then loading up the Microsoft store will work perfectly. Okay. Next is system transparency. So we include a little app in our builds recently that will enable transparency in some of the windows and and menus that normally wouldn't be transparent in Windows 10 or 11. Some people like it, some people don't. If you like it, you can enable it. If not, turn it off. But you'll find it in the, the startup folder and it's called clear. You can just click on it and then you'll see there's transparency in the Explorer windows and in the menus that wasn't there before. If you don't like it, you can just right click the taskbar icon and exit. If you want the transparency to be enabled by default and start up with Windows, just go into Task Manager and go to the Startup tab and you'll see clear.exe and instead of disabled, just change it to enabled and it will automatically start when you boot Windows up. Okay, moving on to power settings. We have pre-configured some of the settings to improve performance and also added some advanced power settings. So you have easier access to make changes that will improve your performance if desired. So if you go to the power icon desktop, it'll take you to the power options and then you go to change advanced power settings and you'll see that under sleep, we've added away mode policy, wake timers, 
Under the power buttons and lid, we've added lid open and close action. Under the PCI Express, we've added link state power management. And in most of our tests, by having this disabled, it really boosts performance in apps and games. And then under processor power management, we've added several options that you can change to your liking. If you're not a fan of the custom recycle bin icon we've set as the default, in the extras folder, you'll find another folder called recycle bin icons. So you can import any of these into the registry and they'll change the look of the recycle bin icon. So the default one is the custom glass one, but if you want to change it to the dark one, just run the reg file and then right click the desktop and hit refresh. The same thing if you want to change it to the default one, run the, the registry file or import it to the registry, refresh the desktop. And if you want to go back to the glass one, same thing applies. There you go. In addition to the custom recycle bin icons that we've added, we've also added custom fonts, icons, and themes. To access the themes, right-click the desktop, go to the Personalize menu, select Themes, and click on any of the themes to change the way your Windows interface looks. We've also included an extras folder that can be accessed by clicking on the icon on the desktop or alternatively through the start menu tools folder as well, where you'll find our custom shortcuts, alternative dark shortcuts, the ability to enable the touch keyboard service for those who want it, ways to fix the Xbox sign in, change your username, web browser installation files, information on our website and YouTube channel, and we've also included 34 wallpapers with this build. And if you want to set them up as a slideshow, go into your personalized menu, into background. Instead of picture, change it to slideshow. And then instead of pictures being the album for your slideshow, go to C drive, windows, web, wallpaper, windows, choose this folder. And then if you right click the desktop, you can choose to shuffle to the next background automatically, or you can wait and it'll rotate at the default half an hour time limit, or you can change that to a different time limit if you'd like. Thanks for watching guys. Please continue to support us in any way that you can. We appreciate you guys and take care till next time.